Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. First and foremost, the lighting. It is so bright outside that I've actually kind of had to close my curtain a little bit. So outside back here looks like a little weird dungeon corner from a horror movie. So yeah, it looks nice and creepy for the video. <laughs> I actually can't see though. We I have a we have like a carriage at the back that has like this reflective roof and it reflects right into my room and blinds me. Cool. Okay, so today I want to share with you some of the favorite things that I've been using or loving this August. So it's a mixture of loads of random things to be honest. There's a cookbook in there, there's a podcast, uh, there's candles, there's some beauty things. So I just thought I'd share them with you guys today and um, so that you can, you know, share the love. So let's just jump right on in. I'm going to start with these because I've been loving them and you'll have seen me talk about this shop that I still can't pronounce a couple of times, Sostrin Green, that's what we've decided we're calling it now. And yeah, I just love their stuff. But I randomly picked these up the last day I was in there. I was getting a few things to the house and I saw these candles and I was like, oh, they're cute. Um, I wonder if they even smell nice and they smell amazing. So I've got these to the house. I've been burning them so much that they started off down here and they're already down to here in like two weeks. So good. So this one, the smell of it is called Seaside and it's just a really nice fresh smell. So that one's in the hall and it's really nice when you come in because it's just like a nice, a nice way to enter the home. And then this one is Lemon Verbena, Verbena? I don't know what that word is. Can anyone, can anyone tell me what that is? Lemon Verbena, Verbena? I don't know. And then this one is Seaside. You can do it. But Seaside is number two and Lemon Verbena is number five. I genuinely have no idea how much these cost. Oh, maybe I still have the receipt. One second. I do. It's a miracle. Each candle was two euro and 98 cents. Two euro and 98 cents. So let's, let's just round that up to three euro for the sake of argument. That's amazing for like a nice smelling candle. I know. I know my mom would be like, don't burn that because there's dangerous oils and parabens and all sorts, but they smell so nice for three euro, I'm just going to burn it. So yeah, those are really, really nice. I really like those smells. They had a load of other ones, but these are the ones that I was like, yes, give it to me. So I'm going to actually, when I come back from holidays, stock up on a couple of these so that I can uh, have them, have them around at all times. This next thing saved my ass this month. For some reason, I do not know why, my lips were intensely dry for like the whole month. Like, it, no, it probably started in July. They were just dry for like a month and I, I, I just couldn't figure it out. I was using the Elizabeth Arden 8 hour cream, which I normally find to be really helpful with my lips. It just like takes any dryness away, but it was not cutting the mustard. So I was like, okay, I really need something. So I went into MAC and I got the MAC lip conditioner, which has been an absolute lifesaver. The first two days I had it, I actually thought I was going to go through the whole tube so quickly because my lips were that dry. It was just taking ages to, um, moisturize them but no it has made the world a difference i know this is the one that if you're ever getting your makeup done in mac they'll generally pop this on first so while they're doing like all your skincare and stuff they use this as your lip conditioner it is beautiful it just like my lips are just back to normal now you know when they're so dry they're actually sore like that was the point i was at whereas now they feel fine and normal again because i was about to lose my mind like i was using everything on it um so now yeah i don't even need to use this every day it's like every once every two three days and it just keeps my lip mo lips moisturized so i will 100 percent be putting this in my bag for my flight because i find like all my skin gets really dry when i'm on a flight so lip conditioner essential next one's a random one and i actually wasn't going to include it but uh, it got a lot of love this week so i have to it's this hat <laughs> I know what you're thinking, your one is including a hat. But seriously, I went to, um, you may have seen, I was at uh, 
Where was I? I was at the Big Grill Festival on Saturday with some of my friends and I decided to wear this hat and partly because it said that it might rain. So I was like, okay, well at least if I'm wearing a hat, it'll it'll cover my hair and my hair will be fine. I don't know really what my rationale was. But I was like, cool, I'll wear this hat because I, I bought it online. I got it on ASOS and it's by a brand called Glamorous. But this is actually really cute. It's a straw hat. Now the circumference of it is quite significant, which I didn't really realize at the time. Like when I was leaving the house, I was like, that's grand. But then Ashing, my friend, put up a photo and I was like, oh my God, the hat is taking over this photo. <laughs> but everyone loved it. I swear to God, I've never had so many people approach me at an event about an item of clothing I was wearing in my life. This hat was like a people magnet for some reason and then at some stage in the evening it also became like the talking hat because we were all like basically screaming over each other just with like hyperness and I was like no you're not allowed to talk unless you're wearing the hat so it was just getting passed around and yeah it was interesting but yeah this is from Glamorous and ASOS I'll try to find the link for you guys I actually got it on sale it was like 14 euro I mean where would you be going and I really like the black band that's across there as well and I prefer like this straighter shape like not a floppy hat and um, I don't really like floppy hats anymore although I do have loads it's actually just a great little hat to wear and yes I look forward to being approached by lots more people to tell me they love my hat such a weird one but yeah oh yeah I'll tell you about the podcast now I am um, a podcast fanatic openly admit it I used to have like a really long commute to work and um, I was working in this office that was so far away and it would take me like an hour and a half there every morning and an hour and a half every evening like it was it was horrible and I can't really read on public transport it makes me feel really sick I can read on like a plane but I can't read on a bus maybe read on the dart but like I can't read on the bus I it like I just feel sick and so I needed to find a way to like pass the time doing this goddamn <laughs> commute every day I find that the best thing for me to do is to listen to podcasts and that was when I got obsessed with like Serial the first season not the second and like all these different podcasts and since then I've become obsessed with this podcast any kid who grew up watching Nickelodeon who's around my age will remember Drake and Josh and this podcast is called Curious by Josh Peck. I'm just really enjoying this podcast like firstly okay so I started watching obviously I watched Josh and Drake and Josh like when I was younger but then I've recently been watching him do his vlogs and you know being part of the vlog squad and all that kind of stuff which is like a whole other day's conversation but um, yeah watching him like do his vlogs and he's really found a rhythm in the last while he's really good at just chatting to people and like getting them to open up about stuff he's got a lovely voice as well like a really nice sounding voice it's very easy to listen to so his podcast I have been really enjoying it's perfect for the walk to work for me so he's interviewed a load of different people his very first person was John Stamos which is like very good start off and um, then Jeremy Bronson who he interviewed he used to um write for Late Night with Jimmy Fallon and the Mini Mindy Project and he was so interesting like just talking about like the writing process and behind the scenes and I find that so interesting and then he did one with Christina Milian which was really interesting as well um Harley Mornstein the guy from Epic Mealtime and he also does shows I think on the Food Network and now I'm listening to um, Paget Brewster. She's in Criminal Minds, Community, Friends. She's really interesting. I'm really enjoying listening to that. He's got a really nice way of talking that people just open up to him and you can tell the people he's interviewing really like him as a friend. Yeah, I just find him so interesting and I'm really, really enjoying listening to his podcasts. Like, genuinely enjoying them. So check out Curious with Josh Peck. I'm gonna go on to my next one, which is not a new thing at all and I've openly loved it for two years now no more yeah over two years it is the Chrissy Teigen cookbook cravings I'm obsessed with this book I just I I think what's gotten me excited about it again is first of all when it's summer and when it's warm I don't really want to cook Ooh, the candles I don't really want to cook I just kind of want to eat like 
salads and I was eating out a lot. It's going to be September. It's definitely going to start getting cooler. Um, I want to start like, you know, making more meals and stuff, um, you know, in autumn and winter. And this will be my first port of coal. I am obsessed with this cookbook so much. I'll show you. Okay, so I have two favorites, current favorites, because I haven't tried everything, not even close, but I will. So the first one that I make all the time is the sweet and salty coconut rice. It's so good. It's so freaking tasty. And then the last two Christmases, like me and my family for Christmas, for the past couple of years we've always done this thing where I'll like bake something that like you can make the night before and then you heat it up and then we have that with like you know mimosas and coffees and just like you know first thing in the morning when we all get up and we're opening our presents and it's just a really nice chilled out way to start the day and because it's something that's like pre-baked then you don't have to like get up really early in the morning and do a lot of stuff so for years it was Alton Brown's cinnamon rolls which I still adore don't get me wrong but Chrissy has been our girl for the past two years now and we're obsessed with this recipe it is this the french toast casserole oh my god like look at that mine has never looked that good but it tastes good it's basically super unhealthy she calls it inner fat kid madness and i fully agree but it's like french bread eggs heavy cream whole milk spiced rum speaking their language uh, sugar vanilla cinnamon nutmeg frosted flakes on top mm. basically she encourages you to actually make it the night before which is what i do and then the next morning you just take it out of the fridge pop it in the oven so while you're kind of like having coffee and stuff it's like baking away it's magic so if you haven't got this book you need to get it and then when cravings 2 comes out you need to get that as well like there's so many recipes in here that i'm like well i need to do that john's tuscan brick chicken with charred lemons excuse me chipotle honey chicken with mango avocado salsa uh yes and all the photos they're just the cutest freaking couple ever obsessed with this book i love it i love her i love all her recipes into it let's move on to the next thing because i'm getting over excited bella mianta fake tan now as you can see i am super pale at the moment i it's as if i haven't seen the sun when it was really sunny here this like for months all summer basically except until recently I just wasn't really in the sun. I think it was because I was working a lot. I was in the midst of moving. I was doing loads of different things. So hence why I'm like pale. But anyway, it's fine. It's not a big deal. I will be getting a spray tan um, before I go away on holidays. But this is what I will be using when I'm over there and my spray starts to fade. So it's the Bellamianta Self-Tanning Tinted Mousse for Face and Body Rapid with Odor Neutralizing Technology. It says it dries in 60 seconds. I actually had a different one. I picked this one up thinking it was the same, but it's all the same brand, so I'm not really overly concerned, and it's a mousse. They could have just changed the packaging a little. I picked this up because my friends recommended it to me ages ago, and it's just one of those things that I'm like, oh yeah, when I see it, I'll buy it, and I just didn't. So I saw it, and I love the color it is the most natural tan uh, i've ever got out of a bottle and i have to say as well it doesn't smell it, there's still like a faint smell off of it but it's not like intense um but also it goes on really evenly and like i have like patches of like psoriasis that is really hard to tan like it just doesn't look great on i'll try and put moisturizer on it when i can remember before putting on my tan half the time i forget but like this hasn't made it look any worse it, it hasn't looked patchy with it which is frankly nothing short of a miracle so if you're looking for a new tan to try out Bellamianta. you may have seen recently that i was in the national gallery of ireland which i adore um, and i talked a little bit the gift shop and there being amazing things in the gift shop and I got this print which I love Dublin Town these are the pool bike chimneys in case you don't know them I associate the like the pool bike chimneys to me are so quintessentially Dublin I have cousins that live 
near to them. So anytime, any weekends that we were going to see them or anything, I would always see the pool bag towers. And uh, yeah, I just really like this print. I like the way it's a pop of color. Because at the moment my room is really just like completely white, with, like touches of gray like this or like green. And um, so I just wanted to get something different. And uh, so this brand or this, um, this company that makes them is called Jando and it's design and illustration and it's a husband and wife, Julie and Owen. And they are a multi award winning winning print making studio based in Dublin and what I really like here is they have on the back all Jando prints are packaged in clear protective sleeves made from cornstarch and were are 100% biodegradable so I love that I think that's really great this was 20 euro in the gift shop in uh, the National Gallery of Ireland I have still haven't taken it out of its film by the way I, I don't know why I'm like trying to Try to mind it. They had loads of other prints. I'd love to get like a set of three different Dublin ones, I think, but this is definitely my first one. I really love it. And I want to start collecting more stuff like this because it's just like a really nice way to add a bit of detail to a room and yeah, something a little bit nostalgic for me as well. I recently got done LVL, which if you don't know, it is lash tint and perm essentially so i have always struggled with my eyelashes they're they're really long um but they just like stick out straight it's so annoying like i could curl them and they'll just just fall down like they don't stay curled which is really frustrating because i just think having curly eyelashes is just a way of like looking making your eyes look more bright and awake and all that kind of stuff so last wednesday which is over a week ago now I went to the Bar Boutique in a Jervis shopping centre and I got a lash tint and perm there, the LVL. Um, so I just went off that, basically I was just googling and it was one of the good places that came up. So the whole procedure takes under an hour which is good. So you kind of lie down and they place pads over your bottom lashes to like stick them down so that they don't get any of the the perm because obviously you don't want those curling into your eyes. So they do that first and then they place like these protective pads over your eyelids and they brush your top lashes up onto the protective pad and then they brush on top. I think the first thing that she did was the perm. So that's on there for 15 minutes and your eyes are closed the entire time. And so uh, yeah, that was on for 15 minutes and then she kind of wipes that off and then I think the tint was next and that was on for eight minutes. And then she wipes that off and then the conditioner is next and I think that was about five minutes. I have, and I've said it already today, I have psoriasis and I've actually found that my eyelids have been really irritated for the last while. I've been getting patches all on my face, all over my eyelids, under my eyes and kind of on my face here and on my neck. It's really, really irritating um, and I'm using lots of different creams for that, that's the side. But I was concerned getting the perm done that it was going to aggravate any of the skin around there because if the perm had touched it or the tint or anything like that I was just really concerned that it was actually going to aggravate it further but I have to say it didn't react to it at all it was absolutely fine I did get a patch test done two days before getting my actual LVL done and um, so I think that definitely helped just for me to have that peace of mind that it wasn't going to react with my skin I found afterwards it was kind of like clumpy and there was still like like conditioner or something like with kind of in the lash line and I had a load of dye over my lids like the tint but I found that just kind of rubbing that gently um got rid of it you're not supposed to shower for 24 hours and you're not supposed to like get any liquid or anything near them so I was trying to like rub it off with my finger basically dry just to try and get like that tint off I found I didn't sleep well that night because I was like trying not to like turn and squish them <laughs> But it was actually fine. They also give you this little tiny brush that for the first 24 hours, the girl was saying as much as humanly possible, you're supposed to brush through your eyelashes so that A, they don't clump and B, they keep getting lifted upwards for the first 24 hours. So I did that certainly a lot the night before and then a little bit the next day whenever I remembered. You can see my eyelashes, they're just way more fluffy okay that was hard to film but yeah i hope you got an idea of like how much like more 
curled and tinted they are. You're not really supposed to wear mascara for the first two weeks and to be honest I haven't felt the need to. Um, they feel dark enough and I certainly find now when I put on eyeliner and stuff it just adds like that extra dimension and it's perfectly fine for you know nights out and stuff so yeah I'm really really happy with them. I just think they look really natural and real. They are real I mean they're my own lashes but it was just kind of an alternative to getting eyelash extensions because I kind of felt like I didn't need them and then I'm also like I'm weird about getting stuff in and near my eyes like I just feel like what if it irritated me or what if I didn't like them like do I get rid of them or I don't know I was just a bit apprehensive about the uh, the extension so I just decided to just get LVL instead so I really really like it it was 55 euro which feels like a lot of money to be spending on eyelashes <laughs> but they say it lasts like six eight weeks but I definitely highly recommend getting it done it's just if you have like pretty straight lashes it's just like a nice alternative to to just feel like you're your makeup's more done or whatever. And the last thing that I wanted to take you guys through uh, was a movie that I recently watched which I adored. Oh my. I'm probably gonna watch it again tonight. All jokes aside. It's amazing. It's so cute. It's so lovely. I love it so much. It's called uh, To All The Boys I've Loved Before and it's a Netflix original and I'm obsessed. I think it's possibly the only movie that I've ever rated on Netflix because you know the way they have like the thumbs up, thumbs down? I've actually never clicked them. Um, but I clicked the thumbs up for this one because oh my god it's the cutest thing ever. Like and then I just spent the rest of my night like way too late to be honest with you. I really needed to go to sleep. I spent the rest of my night just like on Twitter reading tweets about it. Is that sad? I hadn't heard of the book before but now I'm like buying it. The whole cast was so gorgeous and so lovely and it was just it was so nice to watch. I'm 100% watching it again. At first when I was reading tweets about it and people were like, oh my god, I watched it like four times and I hadn't watched it yet. I was like, well, that's a bit weird. And now I'm like fully that person. Apparently there's a sequel, which I'm already like heavily invested in. I just, I love it so much. I loved it. If you haven't seen it and you're looking for something to watch on Netflix, do it. Just put it on your list right now and have it lined up and ready to go. Watch it and then join me to watch it a second time because I will. Potentially a third time this week. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm not going to put any limits on it because I loved it. It was the cutest freaking movie ever. So that's all my favourites for today. You've got quite a mix. You've got a uh, lip conditioner, candles, a podcast, a hat, a print, a movie, a cookbook, and what else? Tan. <laughs> Such a random mix of things. Oh, and my, my eyelashes as well. But it's genuine. Those are the things that I've been really enjoying this month that like I'm so glad that like I learned about to all the boys I've loved before or that I've been using or whatever. So I just want to share the love and show you guys some of those things. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then please give this video a thumbs up and you can subscribe down below. And I will be back soon with the next video. I will see you guys next week. Bye. Am I zoomed? Hair molting. I actually can't deal with how bright it is. So you can see I've like been burning them so much you can't see. Come on. Hopefully you can see that. The lighting is truly atrocious. I was using the um I don't know if I'm in focus or not. Alright, I'm gonna put some more on now. <laughs> The girl. Oh, no, the. Oh, I'm about to start playing something. No, no, no. No. Yes. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. If you have an in. No, 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 no. True to form, my camera died. So. We're back about an hour later. Typical. I feel like I can't go anywhere without this thing. Maybe I should put that on my list for all this. My charger.